Hi, I'm Jesse Christofferson, City Council Member representing Ward 1 in Mount Rainier, Maryland. We're here at the first annual Community Services Fair. Um, and with me today is Marshall Watson from Washington Suburban Sanitary Commission. Um, she brought a bunch of cool giveaways. Wish you were here so you could have these leak detector dye tablets. You put them in the tank and if the dye appears in the bowl, you know you've got a leak. So you can save water. Um, got all kinds of other cool giveaways and information about various programs, how to save water, how to, how to save money on your bill. Um, so Marsha, could you um, talk to me a little bit about um, how WSSC helps people save water and save money on their bills? Okay, so if we have a customer who calls us up and says, hey, I have a high water bill, one of the things that we'll do is we'll ask the customer what's going on on their property. So a lot of times, especially in the summer months, you may have your pipes may be dripping at home, or you may have a toilet that's running at the property that you may not be aware of. So one of the things that we do is we have these wonderful dye packs and we tell customers you don't have to use a dye pack. You can use soda, Kool-Aid, anything that's of dark color. Pour it inside the tank and once you pour it into the tank, wait about half an hour and if it comes through the bowl, then you know you have a leak. Um, we ask customers to check their hose bibs outside just to make sure that it's turned off completely if they have any drips at the property to make sure that they get those drips fixed. They could get um, water saving nozzles for their, for their shower heads and for their taps at home. That reduce the water that they're losing. Just to make sure everything is taken care of. As with anything with your home, things do break down. So you wanna make sure you're doing annual maintenance on it to make sure that the water, you're not losing it all the time. The other thing that we do is for seniors or for um, customers that may be struggling with their bills, um, we do have a bay restoration fee exemption program. So for customers who feel that they may qualify, there's an application on our, on our website, which is at wsscwater.com. They can fill that application out and send it into our office and we'll take a look at it to see if they qualify for any of those programs. Um, we always tell customers one of the things that we have is the three P's, um, paper, poo, and pee. We don't want you to put anything else in inside the system. So don't flush anything else at, at the property. And a, a major thing for us, especially during the holidays, we're always cooking. We want customers to can the grease. So instead of pouring the grease down your sink, we want you to take the grease when you're finished, put it into a can, freeze it, and throw it away in the trash. Why? That way, it's not getting into the environment, it's not getting into waterways, and um, we have a healthier, happier community for our birds and our people. What, um, <clears throat> what are the most common pro pro water-related problems that you see people having in, in, in their homes? Toilet leaks. Toilet leaks, where customers don't know the toilet is leaking, is one of the biggest problems. Because what's going on with toilets is you can lose up to 1,000 gallons a day from a toilet leak. Toilet leaks are not always noticeable because you're not staying in the, in the bathroom all the time. So if you ever have to jiggle your hand on your toilet or hear a sound, have it checked out by doing a test just to make sure that you're not losing water and have a high water bill. Okay, and again, you can do that using Kool-Aid or using these dye tablets um, that you can get from WSSC, I assume, and other locations and events. Um, thank you very much for coming and, and educating people about uh, how to save money, how to save water, and about this program um, to, for exemption from the Bay Restoration Fee for people uh, who qualify. And what do you need to do to qualify for that? What are the requirements? Um, the requirements for that program is there's an income requirement, so you would have to go through the application. Um, a customer has to either get Social Security, has a food stamps, some type of energy assistance program. Those are one of the things that we look at. We also, they need to be able to have an income requirement. And once that information is submitted to our office, they'll be able to approve or not approve. 
Um, we now also have a great source for customers who feel like if they're calling in and maybe the lines are busy, there's a WSSC app that they could use and the app is able to give them more information in the community at a faster pace than calling into our office. Great, and wh how much is the Bay Restoration fee? Um, the, the Bay Restoration fee is based on, it's like a .16 cents per day, so it's a daily charge, so it depends on how many days are in your billing cycle, will tell you how much you're charged for that quarter for your Bay Restoration fee for residential customers. Thank you very much. Uh, is there anything you'd like to add today? No, we we're just happy that we were able to come out here in the community and be a part of this event. Great. Thank you very much for coming.